Thrift Shop is a 2012 single by Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis. It's a pop rap song about thrift shops that I never heard before, but the video got a lot of views. Almost 2 billion! My video on the Smith Corona Model 8MA can't even break 1 billion. Guy even went on Sesame Street. The music video has lots of shots inside actual thrift shops where Mac Lamore jumps around, picks up random stuff. It's a celebration of the joy of discovering that perfect item hidden in a sea of junk. Today's math prop appears about two and a half minutes into the video. Macklemore is discussing the ridiculous prices of designer clothing and enjoying the fact that things are much cheaper at the thrift shop. To demonstrate, he does some simple addition on this thing. It's a Remington adding machine model 10811 from the 1960s. I don't have one like this, but here's a nice photo from David Dalton at the Into the Woods blog. I'll put a link down there. It's a fairly standard full keyboard printing adding machine, but it's in great shape. Very clean with that bold blue color. The Remington machine appears in this shot, which I assume is on a film set. It's a bit too tidy and well lit to be believable as a real thrift shop. And they got nice stuff. Vintage Polaroid cameras, some audio stuff. Look how clean it all is. But is this really the kind of thing you'd find in a real thrift shop? I have found good stuff in thrift shops before. I got my ad o bank at a Goodwill for $8, but I almost never see big machines like this. This kind of thing is big and heavy, and hardly anybody would actually want to buy it. It probably isn't an item that a shop would want taking up shelf space. Maybe in a window display? I don't know. But the Remington machine fits perfectly in the video here. It's kind of hip looking, a bit silly at the same time, and it matches his outfit. It's like they imagine the absolute perfect machine for this shot, and then by some miracle, there really is such a machine, and they found one. Macklemore bangs the keys without even looking, so obviously he's not trying to use the machine accurately. Mashing the buttons on a modern calculator at least does something. I mean, that's how you type in a big number. But the keyboard layout on a machine like this works differently. You don't input a number by typing its digits one at a time. Each column here represents a digit, and you just type the digit you want where you want it. Like $5 looks like this, and $500 looks like this. Mac hits a lot of buttons, but several are in the same columns, which doesn't do anything at all. Once he seems to hit two buttons in the same column at the same time, which is a recipe for errors in this kind of machine, one time he just hits the case next to the numbers. <laughs> Of course, none of this is the point here. It's a video about the joy of finding great old stuff. I can relate. In conclusion, I give Thrift Shop by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis my math props rating of good. Thanks to Denomales for the tip, and let me know if you see any more.